What's the best footprint for a solo duo? A two by one, a hexagon, or maybe this heptagon? I like this footprint as it's far more spacious than a hexagon, and at the same time, far cheaper to expand than a two by one. But if it's so good, why haven't I made one since 2021? Well, as this footprint is asymmetrical, and like a shooting floor can look kind of goofy. But today, we're going to change that with the Samurai, a unique solo duo base with a bunkered starter and a compact shooting floor. It doesn't require any externals. And the best thing is that it's insanely cheap to build. So join me while I take you on a tour and show you how to build it. Starting off, you can see that this base has no compound. But don't worry, if you want one, I'll show you how to add it at the end of the tutorial, along with a couple of externals and compound bedrooms. And on the opposite side, we have the main entrance to the base. To get up to the second floor entrance, you can either use the ladder or place a triangle at half height to jump up on. It's up to you. Going into the airlock, you see we have a ladder hatch leading straight up to the shooting floor. This will allow you to get down quickly and loot any bodies if you kill anyone passing by. Inside, you'll see the second floor is extremely spacious. A room with furnaces, a mixing table, level two, and a bunch of storage. And hidden behind the workbench, we have our large battery. Going down through the sealed bunker, we have our entrance to the main core. To open the bunker, simply destroy the twig door frame. This changes the stability of the ceiling, destroying the triangle. To reseal, just replace a single door frame and the triangle. And hidden behind this vending machine, we have the main TC and today's sponsor. Rust Clash is a case opening website with some brand new game modes, including jackpot, roulette, and PvP battles. They give away $25,000 every single week. To claim, just keep an eye out for raids and chat that show up randomly. They have various deposit methods, including Rust, CSGO, and Dota skins. You can either withdraw your winnings into PayPal or Bitcoin. Every 24 hours, you can use a creator code to get a 5% bonus. This unlocks rake back and free cases, depending on your level. Get your bonus now by using my link in the description. Remember, 18 and above only. You can see we have plenty of stories down here to get you started. At the moment, we've got six large boxes and six small. You can fit two more large ones if you use a salvage shelf in the other room. Use the furnaces to jump back up to the second floor. Then continue up the jump up where we have a peek onto the shooting floor. On the third floor, we have our main bedroom with a locker right next to it. And on the right, we have another loop room with space equal to six large boxes. Exit onto the shooting floor through the single door. As you can see, this section is all attached directly to the base, kind of how we used to design inner peaks. As you can see, every corner of the base is covered, leaving no blind spots. Now, these sections of the shooting floor are free-handed, but don't worry. In this tutorial, I use a new method to build them, which is much easier than the old way. Looking down here, we have some nice peak downs, and out through the windows, you can see really far up the base. Now, on the opposite side of the base, these parts again are attached directly to it and are not free-handed. Some of you might not really like the use of siren lights here, but at this price point, you can't really complain. And here we have our second free-handed part. Again, with some really nice peak downs, far out angles, and some roof retakes. Going back inside the base, we have our entrance to the roof. Again, we have another roof retake here, and our vending machine behind us. You can see the roof is protected by two turrets, one on each free-handed part. You can also use the windows to shoot down through. We also have another respawn in the middle with two large boxes on either side and a SAM site between them. And on the opposite side of the base, we have inward supporting roofs with concrete barricades in between them, allowing you to crouch for cover. And that's all. So now I'm going to show you how to build it. Commence the build by placing down a square, a triangle on these sides, and then surround with walls. Place a frame and a double door in this slot, and then seal in the roof. Make sure to leave this triangle wood so we can hatch it out later. This is very important for the bunker. In order to place the TC correctly, I'll grade this triangle to metal. Next, look closely at the floor. On the metal foundation, notice there are dots. To be able to access the TC behind the vending machine, it must be placed between the second and third line of dots. When you're happy with that, move all the way over to the right and place the TC. Then now you can protect it with a single door. We'll place our vending machine later. 
and then place another double door frame here and this will be your makeshift starter. Next we're going to build the bunker. Start off by placing a stone triangle and then a twig square. Then on the left, place two stone walls. From the twig square, place another one. Then from the left or the right, place down nine triangles. It doesn't matter if you have to raise or lower them because of the terrain. Then on the end, place another square and the build out should look like this. Now you can remove the entire build out apart from the final square placed. Next, build back towards the base with four squares. The final square needs to be placed from inside the base, looking up, to make sure that it attaches to the square in front of you. You can double check this, making sure that the blue lines travel towards the square in front of you. Now create the stone, remove the build out, and then repeat these steps again, and build up by another nine triangles. And put the square on the end. Again, remove the entire build out apart from the final square placed. Then build back towards the place with four squares, making sure that the final one attaches to the one that you're standing on by looking down. You can double check this by making sure the lines are traveling towards the square behind you. Next, build a full wall here and then a square ceiling on top from this angle. Now you can move the build up and place a roof to get on top of the base. Now on top of the wood floor, place a half wall with a window on top. Then a wall here. Build a jump up and a wall frame. Then seal on the top with a wood triangle, which needs to be removed later. Now jump down inside the base and attach a triangle to the square in front of you. You can check this by looking at the stability. It should be no more than 8%. If it's more than this, you've made a mistake and you'll need to build the bunker all over again. Next, open the door next to you and destroy the wood triangle with a couple of machetes. Now you want to place a triangle frame in this slot. And then the triangle bunker seal should be placeable inside it. But there won't be enough stability until you place the single door frame first. Use a single door frame over a wall frame as unfortunately a wall frame pokes through the walls and can be shot out from outside the base. Note the stability of the bunker seal is at 11%. Check it every time you seal the bunker. If for some obscure reason it's more than this, don't seal it, as you'll never be able to open it again. Next we're going to expand the entrance of the base. But it's very important to place the single door frame before you do that. Now we're going to put a single door frame here. and a double door frame here. This frame will be placeable if you don't have the twig placed in the core. Next we're going to finish the inside and upgrade everything to its final material. Use a half wall to put a full shelf here. Obviously you can't put a door on this loot room. If you want some extra loot space down here, you can place a salvage shelf in this room but you must place it before putting down the vending machine in front of the TC. To place a vending machine, you can remove this door if you'd like, as it serves no purpose. It's extremely important to remove to lock the TC before sealing it with the vending machine. To place the vending machine, stand back and slowly guide it into the single door frame. If you've done it correctly, you'll be able to access the TC through the side. To stop the vending machine from rotating, just use it as storage. And finally, we're going to upgrade everything. There's no point in upgrading the walls around the TC to more than metal. Now we're going to add a honeycomb all around the base. But before you do that, make sure this foundation and wall behind the TC are upgraded. After placing triangle foundations all around the base, place the walls. Don't place the ceilings yet, we'll do that from on top of the base.
Now going clockwise from this point, fill in the tops of the honeycomb. But it's extremely important that this one next to the door is placed like this, with the line pointing away from the base. Now you'll see if you put it from this direction, so the line points this way, that it will add stability to the bunker. So again, make sure the triangle piece is placed correctly and double check that the bunker still works. Now we add honeycomb on this part here too. And this one next to where the bunker seals must be placed from this direction with the line pointing this way. If you don't do this correctly, you could add stability to the bunker during a server restart and you'll never be able to open it again. Next around the second floor with walls. And in this triangle here, we're gonna add two more walls for our battery. Now place all your ceilings, but this one must be placed attaching to the garage door frame. Make sure that stability is around 50 or 60%. If it's much lower than that, then you'll have placed it wrong and you'll have difficulty building the shooting floor. Next, build your loot room here. And in this part of the honeycomb, add a triangle frame, which must be upgraded to metal before you place your battery. Now move left and right and backwards and forwards until the battery turns blue. And seal it with a window. Now we can destroy this wooden ceiling and complete the third floor. Add a triangle frame here to strengthen the window. Now place a half wall on top, a half wall here, with a window on top and then another triangle frame and you'll jump up and seal with the door. Next jump down into the honeycomb. On this part where the jump up is and the window we can place a locker inside. The locker can be accessed by removing the embrasure on the window. I didn't show this in the tour, so it's a great place to hide your kits if you like. But of course, remember to lock it before you seal it in. Next, we're going to expand our airlock with a door on the right and a window on the left. Above you, we're going to place a triangle ladder hatch. If you don't have that BP yet, just put down a wood triangle. Now jump over to the third floor and surround the squares with honeycomb. Now for the third floor, place walls all around, leaving a gap in the middle for our single door entrance to the shooting floor. Next, seal in the roof and build your loop room on the right hand side. At this point, the base should look like this. And finally, we're going to build the roof exit. Place a single door here for our vending machine full wall here, half wall on top of the window, seal in the top and another single door frame here. Inside you could put a garage door or another single door for an airlock, it's up to you. Next we're going to start building the shooting floor. Start from the back of the base on the right hand side, we're going to place four triangles like so and upgrade this one to metal. Then add two frames on top and it will look like this. Repeat this on this side too. When finished it will look like this. 
Now move around to the front of the base. Before building this part of the shooting floor, it's important to add the triangle at half height as a jump up if you don't like the ladder. Next from this piece of honeycomb here, build around the side of the base with another four triangles, delete the first three, upgrade this one to metal, and build two wall frames on it. Now repeat this again on this part of the honeycomb. To build the foundation in the center, build a twig square here, two triangles, another square, and then one more triangle. Upgrading it to metal, and add two wall frames in the middle. Note that this won't be attached to the base yet until the shooting floor is finished. Next, you're going to want to put some twig frames on this foundation on both sides. And on the opposite side, put two more twig frames here. From the frames at the front of the base, and a triangle here to stand on. Then build twig squares attaching to the frames, and then a triangle here and here. Now we can add windows all around to connect it to the base. Next, attach a triangle to this part of the honeycomb, and then the same on this side. Now you can add a wall frame here, and on the other side too. And finally, seal in the roof. Oh, and don't forget to add your siren lights. Now you can go ahead and remove all the twig pieces. Next, we're gonna finish the opposite side of the base. So from here, build a twig square and a triangle, then build all your windows. Now attach triangle pieces to the center Place down your siren lights, add wall frames here, and on the other side, then seal in the roof. And finally, you can remove all the twig buildup. Now we can start building our free hands. First place a square, then two triangles to the left. Remove the first triangle and square, place another square, and then put low walls here. Next, you want to make sure you have the triangle foundation selected. Get out your gun and point it directly at this exact spot. When you're confident it's in the same place shown in the video, stand up and place two triangle foundations. Double check to make sure that they're roughly the same height as the square you are standing on. Then remove the square, go back towards the base with a square and four triangles. Now build a half wall, a triangle on top, and a frame. If the frame doesn't turn blue, it hasn't worked. Note that the stability must be about 26% if it's attached. When you're happy with that, upgrade everything. build another half wall here with a triangle on top and then add more frames. The half walls and the triangles should be upgraded to metal. You can see the process again from a top down view. If you're still having problems let me know on my discord server and I'll try and help you the best I can.
Now we're going to do the same again on the opposite side of the base. Place two triangles to the left after your square. Remove the build out. Place another square. Remove the triangle and add two low walls. Select the triangle foundation and aim your gun at exactly this point. Now stand up and place two triangle foundations. Again, double check that they're the same height as the square you were standing on. Remove the square and build back towards the base with another square and four triangles. Place your half wall, your triangle and your frame. Again, making sure the frame is at 26%. Now we're going to complete the shooting floor. Place more frames here, then windows on top, and then place your triangle roof. If you can't place a triangle roof, then you'll have to upgrade the outside frames to metal. Then seal in the top, and remember to place your box in the middle. This will give you a nice place to sit and camp and improve mobility around the roofs. Next add a triangle here because we forgot to base it earlier. Then go around to the other side of the base to repeat these steps again. Here you'll see that I won't be able to place the triangle roof because of the frames outside. So we upgrade them to metal. This only happens sometimes. Next we're going to jump up onto the roof, place two low walls here and on the other side, then place triangle roofs on top. Now on this part we're going to place a triangle roofs, but if you want two beds in the middle you'll have to place the beds before the triangle roofs. Now on the opposite side, place three triangle roofs with a gap between each one. Then in the gaps, place a low wall and you can put concrete barricades behind these if you like. Our turrets will go here, but remember to upgrade these triangles to metal when you do that. And finally, the base would look like this. For your electrics, I recommend building your wind turbine on top of the roof exits. Build it by three frames and then put two triangle floors on top. These should be upgraded to metal. For those of you that want to compound, this is how I'd do it. Build up from the front of the base like so, upgrading these foundations for your gatehouse but it's very important to delete the twig buildup before you place your external TC. Build the gatehouse like so, you can get a better view of this if you watch the spinneret on my channel, which will be linked in the description. And then build out like this for your external TC, remembering the two half walls for the disconnectable mechanism. And then connect the gatehouse to the external like so. If your main TC gets destroyed in a raid and you need to replace it, you have to disconnect both externals. Now on the back of the base, build up like this. 
upgrade these foundations for the gatehouse and delete the twig. Again, that's really important, otherwise you won't be able to place your external TC. The gatehouse is built in exactly the same way, so is the external. Again, if you need a better view on this, you can watch the spinneret. Next, we're going to add some simple compound bedrooms. Place a triangle on the freehand with a square, and seal it in with windows and a door. Then do the same for the opposite side. Now we can place our compound walls. Start by placing walls flat against each gatehouse. Then from the compound bedrooms, fill in the gaps. Lastly, don't forget your barricades, furnaces, and of course your turrets. And the base is done. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the base. Cheers.